Alright guys, so uh, we're out here in the WAPS and we're with Shay and, <laughs> and his uh, S15. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is my 2002 Nissan Silvia. Uh, technically it's a 200 SX. So what kind of wheels do you have on there? Uh, so yeah, for, for the wheel setup, on the front we got uh, Desmond Wide Sport 17x9s, uh, 15p with a 15mm spacer. Uh, as some of you uh, S15 owners will know, the front brakes are quite hard to clear so I had no choice to go with the spacer. Uh, and for the res, we got 17 by 10, uh, 10p offset, no spaces or anything. Uh, so for the tyre setup, I got I went with uh, 45 inch thick tyres, and then 235 wide on the rear and 225 wide on the front. Uh, reason for that was originally I was going to go 17 inch wheels, because I was really inspired by um, I think his name was Yamahito or something. I bought a picture of his car up here. It looks so fucking sick with the VSKF with like real thin tyres but after doing that I found out that driving in New Zealand with tyres that small and having the car this low would be way too fucking difficult so mm. I decided to go with a slight thicker setup and I think it looks pretty aggressive, kind of looks unique for the car No, and it yeah. does look very wide from the back Oh yeah, if you want to check get a shot of it Don't think the camera will do it justice But it does look very aggressive and so in terms of the body work on the exterior, we just got some, I think the Vertex uh, side skirt, uh, rip, rip, replica wing. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the outside. What about these uh, f rolled guards? Oh yeah, <laughs> so I'm sure some of you may have seen that, but pretty much bought a what seventy dollar guard roller, just slapped it on, just. I had no idea what I was doing, but it actually turned out pretty good. Yeah, no, nah, it look, it does look pretty good. Maybe don't look at the front, but... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we'll have a look at the inside now. Right, what so can you tell us about this? It's a pretty standard S15 interior. Uh, it's been converted from all of the manuals you can see in the, the gear, gear stick there. It's got an S14 uh, gearbox in it. Kind of crap, but apparently they're strong, so I don't know. Well, and if it's uh, crap, how do you determine that they're strong? Well, it hasn't broken yet, has it? <laughs> As I heard it on a forum, so it must be legit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, what about the heart and s the soul of the beast? Oh yeah, we'll have a look at that. Uh, honestly, again, not too much to see. So it's obviously just a SR20DT. Have you done any modifications to it? Uh, Personally, I've just done a few minor things like uh, coil packs. Uh, it, when I bought it, it had aftermarket intercooler, radiator, uh, exhaust manifold, complete RPS system, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, batteries relocated into the boot. But um, yeah, it's kind of just a like light setup, like not too much. Do you have any plans for the car at all? Uh, I'm planning to, to drift the car a bit, and if we do so happen to blow the motor, I might do a top end rebuild. Is that all? <laughs> oh, oh, uh, I remember seeing Mayhem Inc. doing one on their S15. Uh, I thought it was pretty sick, so I might go with that. Yeah. But, so yeah. Yeah, it's predominantly like a street slash drift car, is it? Yeah, pretty much. Also, on top of that, we're running a uh, team suspension. As you'll see when we drive it, it is uh, rather stiff. Yeah, but I can confirm that having, having ridden in it before. Get the job done, nevertheless. Yeah. Nice, very nice. Yeah. So should we go for a drive then? Alright, yeah. Take it for a drive. Alright, let's see what this thing sounds like. Alright. So, we're on some uh, private Mexican roads at the moment. <laughs> so first thing you've got to notice, uh, suspension is quite stiff. <laughs> uh, you can def definitely not a comfortable ride. Yeah. But keep yeah. just sticking to the road, I guess. Oh, yeah. So the car makes a fair, a fair amount of sounds. Uh, I mean, there's like three main sounds of this car. You got turbo spooling. 
and sometimes the gearbox uh, makes some random ass sounds. That kind of adds to it, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, it's all about the, the JDM feel. Yeah. So it's making out two, around 250 horsepower, uh, 10 psi, reasonably tame setup. crash it <laughs> otherwise I might own an S15 as well <laughs> <laughs> all right righty now we got Jack driving it
awesome car, very responsive, just needs a new transmission, that's my <laughs> verdict. So, I'll stop here. Well, thank you for letting me drive, I really appreciate that. I no haven't worries. driven a, uh, I don't know, a boy racer car in a long time now, so <laughs> it's good. Makes me want to get my car running. <laughs> All right, so now I think it's going to be time to party in the car park. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. All right, thanks for watching. So that will conclude our review of this car. If you have a unique build yourself and want to be featured on our series, just hit us up. I'll put our, uh, either Instagram or email up on here. And also make sure to subscribe to see more videos like this. Uh, but to wrap that up, I think we're going to do some skids. So first we need to take our flight over to Mexico. All right, so uh, we've just arrived in Mexico, so let's see what this car can do. All right. On a private property as well, remember? <laughs>